I've been back trying to automate a second star, one of my old Minecraft, uh, all the Mod 9 worlds, and I thought I would share how I managed to automate the bottling machine because it took me a bit of figuring it out. So basically you want a pattern provider into an ingredient buffer from Extended AE. Um, if your mod pack doesn't have one of these, backpacks should work if they can hold fluids and items because I know the sophisticated backpacks can do that. Uh, basically any block that can hold fluids and items at the same time. So you want the pattern provider pushing into there. Then you want a uh, item pipe taking the plate mold into a dropper. And then you want a fluid pipe taking the phenolic resin into the actual machine itself. Now, the reason you want it into a dropper is because for some reason you can't just put the item directly onto it or like into it, I guess. It has to be dropped onto the conveyor belt. And that's why you need this. So you need the items and fluids to go into here and then it can then pull it into there and there as needed. Uh, extended or advanced AE, I think with the advanced pattern provider, you can choose which side things go out, but I don't think advanced AE is in this pack yet. Unless it is, maybe. I haven't played this pack in a while. Oh, it is. Okay, I stand corrected, but that's also an option if you're playing on newer versions. Then what we have set up is it goes all the way into the end into a hopper, that hopper is going into a barrel, and then I've just got a modular router to send the uh, the plate mold and the Duraplast sheet back into the pattern provider at the very end of the recipe. Now, in terms of getting the plate onto here, that's where I ran into a slight issue because um, you need to obviously activate the dropper once the, the plate mold's in it. So the way I have that set up is I have a level emitter that's set to Duraplast sheets with a crafting card inside of it and set to emit redstone while item is crafting. That runs into a redstone signal here, into a block, into a sticky piston, into these two observers, both facing each other. So that way, once I start the recipe, item and fluid are pushed into here, fluid's pulled in the back, item's pushed into here, and then there'll be that, um, this will continuously be running, so it'll keep tick, 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 tick until the uh, plate mold's in there. The plate mold will be dropped onto the sheet, all the way down into a hopper, into this barrel, and then the modular will pull everything out and back into here. Now, I've also got this set to lock until primary crafting result is returned. That's so that you don't have to craft up, you know, if you want to make six sheets, you don't have to have six of the molds. That means you can just use reuse the same mold because the recipe creates a mold, quote unquote, as part of its, like, um, the way it's set up. So if you look in here, oh, fuck. I've just dropped it into here. Pattern. Oh, it's one of these. This one. So if you have a look here, you need a metal press mold and phenolic resin, but the uh, output is also including the the plate mold as well, because that's it dropping back onto there. So if we go into AE now and go Duroplast, and I'll do four just to demonstrate it properly. So it's going to craft up some phenolic resin down here automatically sticks it out. And then once that's back in there and it's all gone back into the pattern provider, the piston will unextend or not. That also works. And it'll do it again. There we go. It's a bit of a loud system, but once it's done crafting, it'll stop being as loud, which is good. Bada bing, bada boom. That's Duraplast Sheets automated. I hope that's able to help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comics. Comments, bro. Um, have a lovely rest of your day.